Cross manning is one of the most important strategies defensively every single year in Madden. And in this video, we're going to explain what it is, why it is effective, and how to utilize it against the best offenses in the game. Now, we are going to be dropping ebooks for NCAA college football when it comes out. If you guys want to take your Madden game to the next level uh, or your NCAA game, that is going to be available in our school.com community page. Cool part about that is that it's going to be the same site for both games. So for just $10, you're going to get all of our ebooks for Madden and you're going to get all of our ebooks for NCAA. The cool part about that site is it's constantly being updated as well. So you always have very up to date offensive, defensive ebooks for both games, as well as all of the backlog of the library there for pretty much any Madden that you want to use. So if you want to get the access to that, it's only $10 and uh, link is going to be in the description for that. So as I said in the beginning, we're going to be talking today about cross man. And I really didn't understand a ton about cross man until the last couple of years. And I do think it's one of the most effective strategies that we, that you have on next gen because of the way the movement system works. Delayed man coverage, which is what cross man really is, is going to significantly improve your ability to get stopped. So let me explain kind of what I'm talking about. We'll get into some of these routes. And we can do pretty much all of this from a base press dollar look. It doesn't have to be free safety zone blitz. It can be free safety zone blitz. But essentially, we'll go through here. Everything that I have here is basically default. If I'm running a baseline dollar, I normally put curl flats on 20. And then as you see here, auto flip off, baseline on, and then curl flats at 20. And you can kind of go from there. All right. Now, unfortunately, uh, you used to be able to cross man with these slot corners. Uh, these slot corners were super effective in cross man. Like I could man up Johnson on, you know, the, the slot receiver on the right. One thing you can do, which is kind of an, an, a little bit of an advanced tip, is you can, you know, basically man align and then man him up. So you can man him up and then man align. And you see by man aligning, sometimes he'll go over here. This is kind of what it would look like uh, in terms of cross man. So the reason this was good, and I'll just put like a cover four on here and try to get these guys as much out of the way as possible. But I just want you to see what this cross man is going to do. So you see how he's cross man on that solar receiver. So let's say, let's say that that solar receiver runs a skinny post. This is why this is so good. It's really good for in cutting routes. It can do okay against out cutting routes, but essentially what will happen is if they run a skinny post here, you'll see that this cross man gets underneath it. And he's going to he's gonna basically lurk it. Now, right there, he was a little bit underneath it. And if I click on, I probably get an interception. So how do we utilize the same principle? And what is it really going to help us do defensively? The biggest thing that it's going to help us do defensively is stop any kind of in-breaking type route. So let me show you another example. Um, so essentially what we're doing with Crossman is we're utilizing leverage. We're utilizing inside leverage to defend inside breaking routes. Now you can also occasionally uh, play pretty good defense against like a corner route if you were to do it like this. So you see here, I'm gonna cross man the safety. Now sometimes by moving the safeties down, it can actually improve the ability to play man coverage, which is a little bit of an advanced tip. But I just wanna show you here, like if I run a corner route to the right, you'll see this cross man doesn't really guard it. Okay, sometimes it does, depends on where the crossman comes from, but in general, it's not going to really do a great job if you just think about it principally. Where do you have leverage whenever you're utilizing a crossman defense? You have leverage to the middle of the field, you have leverage to the inside. So, to utilize this effectively, we need to give ourselves what I call safety help or help to the outside for those outside breaking patterns. So, what I like to do, and this is going to help kind of create a, a bracket that's going to be super effective is let's say we want to stop the verticals crossing route. This also what I have found a little bit of a pro tip again, this works best. And this is why let me actually come out on the defense that will actually showcase this cross man works best when it is lower, lower to the line of scrimmage. So when you cross man a safety and I will explain this, but we're going to come out and double safety go because this is going to show this really good for you. So if I cross man in the safety, and I'm going to first show it with just pressing. It's like, let's say I audible, and I'm going to press. And you see I have this safe, this like kind of default safety alignment. Um, you know, So we're going to cross man the safety onto the slot. Now, everything else, we're just going to clear it out. I don't want you to worry too much about this fade. Uh, I'll just you know, put this guy in a quarter or whatever. But essentially what's going to happen is you're going to see here 
that this cross man adjustment is going to it's not going to really stop the crosser it went even though it should like the idea the reason we're doing this is so that the cross man stops the crossing route um and it sometimes actually will but as you see he crosses his face i can freeform this and a lot of times be able to catch the ball right so again this is the idea of like we want to put some safety help to the sidelines to kind of help funnel the thing, everything back into the middle of the field. But the big tip that I want to give you here is if you bring those safeties down and you can, there's a lot of ways to do that. The best way to do that right now in Madden is to go through and have auto flip off auto alignment on base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out and double safety. And then we're going to audible into the play that we want to run. So like right here, we audible into DB fire too. And then if we don't press, it's going to keep the safeties in the box. So this gives us one, two, three, four players that can cross man on anybody on the field. So the reason this is helpful is now if I do that same adjustment, I'm going to cross man the, um, I'm going to cross man the safety and then we'll just drop these guys in zone so they get out of the way. I want you to watch what this does against verticals. So same exact experiment, but now look at, look at this route. If I try to freeform this, he's right there. And then the safety's there as well, right? He ended up just running by him. It's more of a speed thing, which will equalize itself in ultimate team. But this is a super, super big principle. Now, another thing that cross manning is really good at defending is, is kind of baiting routes. So like, let's say they want to, you know, you're playing somebody and they run a lot of verticals. One of the best ways to counter verticals is to, especially the tight end route aspect here would be to man up the tight end. So we'll just go to cover three cloud because it's a little easier to adjust out of this. So essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to take the linebacker and cross man him onto the tight end. And then we can drop maybe a double flat over there on that side. Now to illustrate this, I'm going to, you know, kind of act like I'm going to user here. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to run. Normally if I was usering here, I would kind of run to the tackle and then I would basically roll back into the middle of the read and then we'll talk about kind of the route. So essentially, you see here, if they throw that, you see that it kind of baits that throw. And he's delaying that man coverage assignment. But if you think about it from the way the quarterback is going to read this, he's going to look out there to the right side. And he says, oh, okay, the user is going to the crosser. Like at this point right here, this tight end route looks open. But then as you see, that man coverage is going to close that gap. It's going to close that window really quickly. And he is gonna take he's gonna take advantage of that really or he's gonna take he's gonna take the ball away typically. So another way that we can accomplish or another reason why you would use cross man is for double post, right? Double post, one of the best plays. Really any kind of post on the bu the bunch side. So again, let's say here, you know, we're running this deep corner setup, which is very similar to double post. And basically what we're gonna do, and normally what I like to tell people as well is when you do run cross man is I think shading inside is very helpful, right? I really do. So what we can do with this is, you know, we can take this linebacker, cross man him onto circle, and then we're just going to shade him inside. So what that does is he's going to undercut this post route really well. So you see here, this post route, super good. See how he kind of undercuts it. He's right underneath it. And then you have kind of that bracket with that middle third defender. So with KOs and everything, this is going to be a little bit better. And again, it's a speed discrepancy typically. Now let's talk about a little, let's, let's uh, spend just a, a quick minute here uh, talking a little bit more about the corner route aspect of things. So like, let's say they're running street corner flat to the right side and you want to try to create what I call a bracket on that route. One of the easiest ways to do this is to go to cover three cloud. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that safety that's now in the box and you're just going to cross man him onto the R1 receiver. Now you can drop the little linebacker bag whatever you want. Now you, what, what you have here is this cloud flat on the outside is going to force them to kind of hold the ball for a second. And then it's going to allow the safety to kind of close this gap and he's running into the third. So this is another way that you can kind of utilize this idea. Again, cross manning is so, so versatile because you don't just have to cross man. Like you, you can cross man more than one player. Uh, another route combo that is really, really popular is out of bunch strong. And everybody likes to run this right now. They're running Durham with this slot post. So one of the ways that we can manipulate or play pretty play pretty decent defense on the slot post route would be to cross man the slot receiver with that linebacker. And what you'll see is if they if they call Durham, you're gonna see here again. Look at that linebacker, kind of stay right in there. 
and it kind of creates a bracket where we take the inside and the outside abilities of this completely away. This is also really good. Another popular route combination from uh, Bun Strong, for example, is double corner. So what you can do here, uh, one of the best tactics to defending that solo receiver is really the same idea. So it's, you know, cover three cloud. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that backside safety and cross man him onto him. And then this allows us to do a lot of different things in terms of what we want to do on the right. For example, you know, we could, you know, man up circle. We could, you know, roll the coverage around. Um, there's a lot of different things that we could do here. So, you know, the, the biggest thing I want to show is that this does a really good job of taking away the the slot receiver or the, the solo set. So you see they might throw it just because they think it's open, and then you see you've got a guy right in that area. So cross mining is something that has been around in Madden for a very, very long time, uh, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. And you can create coverage, uh, un unlimited amount of coverage shells, you know, from this. One of my favorite things to do is to try to kind of bait a skinny post from the left side. The best way to do that would be to take the linebacker, and cross man him onto, see we have that inside leverage, cross man him onto that solar receiver. Then you can take, you know, in this example here, maybe you want to cross man the tight end with the safety, and then you have a, a covered shell that looks, you know, basically like this. This is actually kind of super good. And what's going to happen is that third is going to help kind of protect that inside leverage. You have, you have a lot of help to the outside. You have the clouds, you have the thirds. All those are going to help you with the outside stuff. And then essentially what's going to happen is if they're trying to bomb you, you're going to have a really good chance of this cross man, as you see right there, getting underneath it and with, with the, with the kind of inside outside approach, be able to really bracket the route. Another really good thing that you could do is again, utilize cross manning with those outside thirds. Um, and so I, I love to tell people like if I'm playing bunch, one of the best cross man setups is to take the linebacker and it's a super underrated one, but take the linebacker, man him up on the slot. That's a really important distinction. Then you want to cross man the outside guy uh, with the safety. And then you can take either your user, if you wanted to use your user, um, you know, you could do something like this right here. This would be a true cross man, but you don't really need to cross man the tight end if you think about the routes that he's gonna be on. So we're just gonna man up the outside slot corner on the on the guy. So we have the, the two slots cross manned. We have the cloud flat, or if you wanna throw a quarter out there, you certainly could do that. And then you kind of have a bracket with this coverage. This is gonna do an unbelievable job at defending the verticals crosser. It's gonna do a really good job at defending that circle receiver late. And you see here, I mean, it's just almost impossible to throw that route. So. I love this defense, super good cross man tile style. You and you don't have to cross man everybody. Like if you just want to cross man the problem player, like to me, the problem player in bunch is the slot receiver. So we're just gonna cross man him. And we also have that cover three coverage over there to kind of help, you know, take that away. And then all we have to do is essentially use it with the tight end. But if they run a corner route or anything, that's gonna be super bracketed with this, and they're really not gonna be able to throw that against that defense. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you want to take your Madden or college football game to the next level, join the school community. Links in the description for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both college football and for Madden 25.